If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. So hey guys, uh, I have not been uh, posting any videos for the last couple of uh, days because uh, there is a small issue with my camera. So there was a lot of content that got created in this um, time but um, now you know unfortunately I could not record all those because of this camera issue. I tried my level best to get it fixed but um, it's still in the same condition. So I'll just give you a quick update of what I did during this uh, last couple of days so that um, you know I can bring you up to speed but uh, you know apologies for not shooting everything on uh, video because of lack of equipment but uh, we will soon get everything fixed and then we will start shooting videos again so I'll give you guys an update on what has been so you all remember this bike this bike um, came with a, a you know TCI kit and its wiring was a nightmare so what we did is we completed the wiring it is completely done as you can see uh, everything works on this indicators work front and back and then you know the brake light also works so these things were not working when this came to me um, and this would have not have been possible without some friends who tried their level best to get these pairs um, so this bike is completely done and i'll tell you it's a very 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 sweet bike um, revs like a you know i i even don't have an example to give you how it revs so um, there is a one kilometer stretch uh, near my house which is kind of empty and you know i cannot take this bike to the top speed in that one kilometer stretch because it is so fast so um, the owner of the bike came today um, he took it for a spin he really loved it but uh, unfortunately there is some more work pending on this and he didn't want to take the bike home right now because you know he wanted to complete those things so right now what is happening is there is a small leak from the uh, clutch cover uh, that is mainly because we open this clutch cover to replace the gear shaft and uh, i reused the old clutch packing because we didn't get a new one um, so that is a challenge secondly this is actually running on my bikes CDA um, so uh, we will you know eventually get something nice for this so I'm hoping to you know unveil something very nice in the near future uh, about my bike my bike uh, the engine rebuild is complete and I'm sorry I could not shoot the entire thing on video because uh, actually it happened on a Friday uh, over a couple of drinks <laughs> so I actually built this and I could not shoot it at that time because it was difficult to do both um, anyways this bike's engine will be redone because you know he wants to fix the oil seals etc so you know incidentally this bike was rebuilt about a thousand kilometers back but there are some niggling issues which he wants to address so right now it will go with him and then it will come back again uh, for a complete engine rebuild at that time i'll shoot it so these covers if you remember um, they were not painted and in a pretty rough condition so i painted them myself so that video also i could not shoot and then these lines were um, hand buffed so that you know it doesn't give that very shiny look but it still you know shines uh, our flat slide carburetors are back in this uh, there is no you know issue there unfortunately i could not start the bike because our cda is on that bike and we are expecting a new cda for this so i'll do a video on that pretty soon uh, other than that the bike is completely done the stud is fixed so finally after i got this bike uh, I was able to torque that stud to the right spec. It is not uh, that easy. Uh, it happened for the first time, so I'm quite excited. And I also got new shocks for this bike. 
um, my old ones I wanted to get them plated um, they are actually four years old but again this bike has hardly done like thousand kilometers so those were not used that much but uh, there was some pitting on the spring so initially I thought I will get the uh, springs plated but then I thought you know uh, since these sets were available uh, at a good rate with my um, local spare parts guy and it was the last set so I thought why not to you know buy something for the future so the old set is kept and these are the new set um, other than that I am going to keep the rear rim as this front rim we are going to change we are going to uh, put something little narrower this is too wide um, so that is the plan front mudguard is also done it is at the welding workshop so I have to go and get it maybe I'll try to get it this Friday hopefully uh, other than that there is nothing much to be done on this bike uh, we just need to fix the CDA and start it uh, everything else is perfect uh, the silencers need plating so that I will do probably after Ronam because right now if even if I give them for plating I won't get it back on time so that's the update guys I hope you will you know wait for my problems to get sorted out so once my <laughs> you know camera issues are sorted then I'll start posting regularly so thanks a lot for being with us and thanks a lot for your patience and have a good night bye bye